uh, this class grow. And Waldell, he had a 232 also. A couple of 232 lap times that's in that one. That's that's moving. That <laughs> wow. See, Plex, it's just unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> All right, coming up next, 85-9 to 11 as our top three, Axel Ward, Anderson Waddell, and Mason Jenkins going gold, silver, and bronze to West Kane here in a few moments. Our 85-9 to 11 limited dropping in the Gator pit. Carson Wood going to be one to watch on the uh, uh, 26 machine. Grant McDonald also taking a division race win out there on the 282. Uh, Cole Black, a 525, could be a player in this one as well as many others. Wyatt Thurman, also a strong finisher in his division race. What we got going on up front right hey, now, guys? Wyatt Duff, too. You got to keep an eye on Wyatt Duff. He made a great pass here. He went outside, didn't follow those guys here up this uphill, made a nice pass, moving himself into was that fourth place thing Wyatt's in. Wyatt Duff on the 44 Fox racing gear. Yeah, Wyatt had some momentum as he went around the outside like you're talking about. Got a good drive there, J.H., but right now, has to tuck in behind as he works his way back into that big left hander. Like you say, you can see that gear here still sitting in that number fourth position. I tell you, this is going to be good here watching these guys get learning. We talked about this earlier in the day. Coming into this split section here, not following guys, you know, coming around some of these big corners. I was on the track earlier, and there's just so many lines out there. The track guys have done an outstanding job. Weather's holding up great, which is really contributing to good track conditions. And it's given these guys a lot of options out there to consider, you know, if you're smart enough to take them. I mean, part of it is you got to recognize that. So let's see here. There's a good chance. Stop. There you go. Our third place stuck in the outside. That's, uh, can't see the number. And, and, and to their credit, on the Supercross track, not uh, one of our competitors said there was no place to pass, J.H., on the podium. Not one competitor. All right. All right, Wes. All right. I'm looking for the 299 of Mason Jenkins. Come on up here, bud. Right over here. Congratulations on your third overall. Who do you want to thank? I would like to thank OGs, um, PR2, and Mom, Dad, and Jesus, and um, Cameron. All right, congratulations. Hold that medal up. Let him get the shot. We're going to fix that in a minute. Good job. Anderson Waddell, come on up here, bud. Good job, Anderson, right here. Who do you want to thank for your ride? My mom, my dad, Dunlop, Andre Brigade, KTM, Nathan, Fly, Hope, A1 Racing, and everybody else. All right, hold it up, guys. Get the shot. Anderson Waddell, Mike Burkeen, up on the box, Axel Ward from Alabama, your champion. Congratulations, Axel Ward. You're going to hold that. Who do you want to thank? My mom, my dad, Jesus, give me slave, Oakley, and fast up suspension. Congratulations out there. Hold it up one more time. Celebration, champagne toast. Axel Ward, your champion. Take it away, guys. All right, thanks a lot, Wes Kane, as we pick the action back up out here. Uh, Brendan Harrison, Cole Blecka out front as far as. Uh, Point is concerned along with uh, Darren Pine, but some changes certainly taking place in this uh, second lap of racing for the 85 9 to 11. Our leaders now making their way in front of the Gizmo Mods Tower, the spectator section of this racetrack, as they drop down into the Gator Pit. There's Harrison still on point and out front. He's opened up quite a bit of a lead over Black and now in the number two spot. There is Pine still in third, but here's where the action is. Back up to fourth place. I believe he dropped to seventh, but he's back up to fourth, the 44 of Wyatt Duff now. Wow. Duff has also got plenty of company coming up and in through there, so it's not over for him. That, that position right there is one of the hottest contested at the moment. And Carson Wood, Carson was moved up there too. He was just right behind uh, Wyatt, and now he's back to ninth position yeah. so he got tangled up i mean it was these guys were nose to tail bottled up in that section coming into the split turn and i tell you that's you know again line selections everything when you're in a tight battle like that some of these guys made a good choice it looks like some of them may not have made the best choice and, and this group still together rodney a little bit different yeah. order right now but as they worked their way back to the uh uh dragon uh the <laughs> gator tail <Yeah>. one <laughs> more time the gator's <laughs> tail one more time these guys, they were five wide, Rodney. Five wide, internet, fast right-hander back there. 
Absolutely, and as they make their way off the top of the Gators back and drop back down, heading for the tail now, uh, that second, third, and fourth place positions are, are tightening up. A rider I think we need to keep an eye on is Yamaha Ride 247, Wyatt Thurman. He got a second in his qualifying moto. As I said, he's running 12th right now, but these guys are all tight-knit. He's running in that uh, 206 and 204 range right there with uh, Gage Brown. Those two riders looking to see them work their way up to the pack. It'll be interesting to see whether or not they're able to seed their self in this uh, front seven or eight. Yeah, there's so many names in this class right now, too. And that's the thing, you know, you can't, starts everything. You can't spot any of these kids a chance because you got Carson who's back there. You got Wyatt Thurman back there. I see Grant McDonald back there, Seth Dennis. You know, you got a lot of fast kids here. And, you know, the thing is, you know, you give any of them a chance, any of those other kids a chance to get out front, get a clean track, they're going to gap you. And they're going to have to do all the work to get past the other fast kids to catch up to the front. And, Jay, there's only one kid that's really separated himself on the lap times. That is Harrison. Harrison down in those 159s. Look, he's putting four seconds a lap on these guys. When you look back through here, 203, 205, 204, none of those guys are making real progress. You know, absolutely. And I tell you, part of it Ooh. is having a clean track. Clean track yes. helps because you get to pick the line you want instead of getting stuck in a line you don't want sometimes. You control the track, J.A. Absolutely. Seth Dennis trying to make some moves as they drop down into the Gator pit. Dennis checking in in seventh a lap ago. Darren Pine has gotten around. He's up to third now. So Seth Dennis did make those moves. Wyatt Duff up to the fourth place position. Mason Rayner in fifth. Cole Black and now sixth. Jonathan Getz in seventh. Colby Lesser eighth. Carson Wood still holding steady at ninth. Zane Martin rounding out in the top 10 and unbelievably still Gage Brown in 11th place position as Wyatt Thurman finds himself dropping outside the top 20 now. Look at these gaps, guys. 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.3. These aren't even a second between these riders right here that we're talking about. And they've maintained this for three laps. They've had that kind of gap. Yeah, absolutely. Looking at best lap times, too. You know, you got Seth Dennis over the 202. I mean, he's that's not going slow. That's coming through traffic. Wow. He was back. He exactly. turned the 202 passing, guys. That's as good as a 159 right there when you're coming <laughs> through the pack. Yeah. Absolutely. And then uh, Duff able to get up through there. He had a bad lap, turned to 205, and still picked up three positions. I guarantee that 205 is going to look like a 202 this time around, I bet you, J.H. Yeah, I, he's, def he's making some good line choices out there right now, Duff is. And he's doing a really good job, you know, not following the leader, uh, you know, getting around these guys and looking for alternative lines to make some passes and make the moves. Hard to believe. I mean, I'm watching and I'm questioning, is this the leader making his way down the front section? But with the ferocity at which he's <laughs> riding at right now, I think it's pretty evident he has opened up a monumental lead over the rest of this field out here. Rodney, did you say ferocity or velocity? Ferocity. <laughs> and velocity. And ferocity and velocity. He's got it both going on right now as Brennan Harrison drops down in and just now coming into the spectator area is the rest of the meat of this uh, uh, this pack of riders behind him right now. So that's Seth Dennis. I think Seth's going to move up a spot here, right? Yep, he's up to second. Yep, so he's past Pine. And looks like Duff's got passed. Mason Rayner up to fourth now, it looks like. All right, white flag out, you guys. One lap to go in this one. This one's far from over, too. These guys here are still dicing and slicing back here and behind them. Yeah, just like J.H. said, Seth Dennis able to take control of that second position. That moves Pine into the third. I told you Dennis was going to be at least a 202. <laughs> he was a 200 right there that time around. Pine a 204. Rayner a 204 as well. Cole Black a 203 in the number five spot. Well, I'll tell you what. We talk about the weight of the second moto and how much it means as we look at these two riders in first and second. Brennan Harrison finishing second in his division race. Seth Dennis took the win and as it finishes like this right now, Brennan Harrison will take home the championship and the gold here today. Seth Dennis will take second with a 1-2. Uh, Darren Pine the 58 machine right now is looking at silver with a 3-3. Three, three. So he's had a fairly consistent uh, uh, ride as he uh, drops back into that number three spot after running second for a lap and a half or so here in this 85, 9 to 11 limited second moto. Yeah, saw Harrison right there making a great line selection. He manualed over top of that braking bump. Got him a good drive coming into that next corner. That's, that's, what, a, that's what a sub two-minute lap time looks like right there. Exactly, putting that technique to use. And this is 85cc 9 to 11 we're <laughs> looking at, J.H. We've talked about technique. We've talked about these guys uh, really using their technical ability, putting a lot of body English on the bike as small as they are. And that uh, manual right there is a very good example of that. Still these guys behind here uh, just 
like right all over each other. None of them really breaking away from each other. No, nah, these guys are very evenly matched. This is uh, this is exciting seeing what the, the new season is going to hold as far as racing is concerned. That's Checkered sure. flag, there you go. Brendan Harrison takes the win. Great ride. Still ran a two minute lap time on his last lap time with a big gap. He was definitely feeling it, that moto, without a doubt. Well, with a 2-1 in this 85-9 to 11 limited class, that will yield gold and a championship for Brennan Harrison, the number 904. Seth Dennis will cross the line in second, going 1-2 for the overall second. And silver as Mason Rayner moves up into that number three position at the end of lap number four. He